Austin's only brother, Colin. And I will start my speech by saying, in 1996, <laughs> I was three years old and Grandma Fabric was watching me for a very specific reason. This was because the parents had rushed to the hospital in labor with Austin. And when my excited parents came home of Austin and told me, Colin, we want to introduce you to your new baby brother, Austin. My response was, well, that's nice, but we don't really need him here. Give him to, give him to grandma, she can take him home. We don't have the space for him. My grandmother and parents laughed at me, and just like that, Austin became a part of my life. Hey there, good morning. Today is the day. I hope you're as excited as I am nervous, LOL. Period. <laughs> you don't need to. <laughs> Thanks for everything leading up to today. You've 100% been my rock, and I can't thank you enough for your patience. If I traveled back in time to hang out with, with younger Lauren, she'd be so impressed with who I get to spend the rest of my life with. Do I have to read it all out? Okay, it says Lauren. Since the day I started writing all of these letters. <laughs> I had one very clear hope in my mind that it would eventually lead to this day. Getting to marry you is not only my greatest accomplishment in life, it's a joyful sentiment that I had that I get to spend the rest of my life with my best friend. You were the strongest, most courageous, generous, loving. <laughs> and beautiful person I've ever known and will ever know. You are my star in the sky. I can't wait until I get to say it. I do. Not only today, but for the rest of our lives on this earth and forever after that. And to my love, my best friend, and my wife, I love you. Uh, you saw. You did good. <laughs> I grew him on our wedding day. Not that I had many boxes to check off, but you did the trick plus more. I couldn't be more blessed than I am to have ran into someone like you. Your faith, love, patience, sincerity, kindness, servant-heartedness, the list goes on. I know we haven't really been together that long, but I'm constantly so impressed by you and how you approach life. Nothing seems to share, shake, shake you, <laughs> which is perfect for me who is shaken by everything it seems. Not true. I can't wait to see how you grow as a person, as a father, and as a business owner. I personally think you'll crush all of those rules. I am 100% confident in you, your love for me, and your faith, and I think that we can get through anything. I can't imagine life without you, and I'm so happy that I don't have to. Over the years, my promise to you is that I will trust you, encourage you, support you, pray for you, respect you, and love you every single day, no matter what. I promise to love your family and friends, to have patience, and always seek understanding and compromise. So we're very grateful that you found each other and we uh, look forward to you celebrating a lifetime of happiness and love together. Tom and Irene, thank you for raising Austin. Give me such a great man. Austin, I am officially <laughs> passing the torch off to you. Take care of this beautiful, amazing, confident woman. Continue to challenge her. Care for her in her time of need and grow together as you both traverse this thing we call life. Thank you for being the type of friend that uh, everybody wants. 
nobody really deserves and few ever find. Uh, I typically like to live my life in the driver's seat for you. Uh, I don't mind riding in the passenger seat. I will always be the goose to your maverick. First heard about Austin, we thought he was some old guy. <laughs> to conclude tonight with a few brief words of advice regarding relationships. Physical relationships. Yes. S E L S. to do is run say the word and we'll be gone on this road together and one today to become you are not one. only my family but my friend and we if that does not go sorry alone. and if he does not make you happy then you made the mistake but then <laughs> but I think you are not going to have to deal with that and you still make me smile. I wish you well wishes, and that is the end of my tale, but not yours. It is only the beginning, and I love you so, so much. And happy wedding, cousin.